Who is here first time? Join us today in the in the program. If you are first time, I feel sorry for you because you will become addicted. And then if you become addicted, nothing can help you to leave. Nobody can make you leave our program unless a superstar go in TV like Joe Biden. Because you know, according to study, when Joe Biden go in TV, the whole world get astonished. And by the way, Joe Biden is the one who caught the one who he called him prophet. And he said, Prophet Muhammad said, if one of you see something wrong, change him by his hand. If he could not, then by his mouth. And if he cannot, then in his thought. I mean, the guy is asking the Muslim to do jihad. Do you see how stupid this idiot is? Can you believe it? Would this guy even know what he's saying? Change it by his hand? Are you sure? They start saying, Dictator Biden, sorry, Dictator Putin is invading other nation and you are making fun of Joe Biden. You are disgraced, Tester. Your Joe Biden is disgraced. He is the one who's asking them to come. If I am a friend of Ukraine, I will not say, hey, American, leave. You are telling the enemies, I'm not going to fight for them. And he said just yesterday, not a single American soldier will fight the Russian. In disgrace, you are a disgrace. It's your scumbag, Joe Biden, the disgrace. If you have a friend and you claim to be a friend to somebody, you don't leave his house when he is in danger. You stay there. Your Joe Biden is a shit. Excuse me. I have respect to shit more than your Joe Biden. I never heard of somebody he leave his friends when they need him. That's what they did to those Ukrainian people. When they need you most, you leave. They're closing their embassy. What a bunch of cowards. This is the time where you say we will stay. If you come here, you are going to hurt our citizen and we will stop you if you do that. At least as an excuse. But coward. Sons of Muta. They are the ones inviting Putin to come. This guy, if he see anyone standing for him, he will not. But now he knew. We don't have leader. We have a boy in Canada. We have a guy, he loves his hair to be like a, like a bushes in England. And he claimed that he is supporting them and he just said, we are going to close our embassy. What the heck with this? At least next time, elect a cat. She dare to step on the Quran like this. Holy cat. Not a stupid Joe Biden. In case you do not know, this cat, she applied to work with us because she was able to step on the Quran and get the Mohammedan busted in two seconds. The American there are doing honest work. Yeah, you were doing honest work all the time. Exactly, honest work. Uh -huh. It was honest work when we left $85 billion weapon to Taliban, but we don't have a million dollar to Ukraine. 85 billion. I mean, 
Can't you even burn them? Have you ever heard of somebody leave those weapons? You cannot take them, burn them. And they are preparing to leave for the last four years. Why you have $85 billion equipment? You know, we have honest work. You have a garbage work, my friend. What honest work? Dummy. This is a president. This catch, he can do better. And now he is going to sign agreement with the Iranian because the price of gas is going crazy. And the first day he took the office, he stopped the oil production in our country. Do you know that now we are buying oil from Russia? Do you know that? Do you know it's Russia who can put sanction on us, not the opposite? I mean, those people are fooling who? This is why this Putin is laughing. The stupid Biden, the first thing he said, he did, okay, we will close the pipeline. We will stop oil production. We are going to buy. Why would you why do that? So we buy it from Russia. Unbelievable. Even a stupid Allah did not do that. How are you, cat, doing? I don't know where she got this uh, tie, by the way. This tie is something. I think we will make this uh, cat an admin. At least she can scare Joe Biden if he show up in our chat. Because obviously this guy, he gets scared even from a cat. She would say to him, meow, and the mice will run. Anyway, forget about those dummies. They make me angry. So are we out of Mohammedans? Are we? Please stay in your field. You know very little about politics. That's deep. You know a lot about politics? I don't think you know a lot about politics. I think you know too much about politics. Stay in your field. Don't talk about politics. We heard their feeling. They love Joe Biden, you know? I mean, obviously, yesterday I went to Walmart to buy some chicken. There's no chicken in the shelf. I asked the lady, when we are going to the chicks? She said, we did not get for the last week. I said, why? He said, I don't know. Ask Joe Biden. I mean, even chicken he cannot provide. Gas price is like crazy. Inflation. Prices. Don't, don't talk about, you know, don't, don't, okay? Don't talk about Patex. Stay in your uh, field, okay? Are you enjoying your field? A bunch of dummies. Nations destroyed by their presidents and leaders. And whatever happened to those countries, they deserve it. It's what happened when you have a donkey as a president or a king for you. Garbage in, garbage out. Did you ask yourself why this guy did not move his ass when Trump was in the office? Here we go, Ukraine is there. The problem is there, nothing changed. What happened? Very simple. They, they all, all, even terrorists did not move their ass for four years when Trump was there. The guy, he left right away. To, things is messed up. Even there's many things I don't agree with the Trump, but at least the enemy, they, they fear him. This guy, everybody is laughing at him. How you confront Muslims who just say Quran only understand certain Arabic? <laughs> Ask him, do you know Arabic? The one who's, who's saying that to you? <laughs> Secondly, as long as the Quran only understood in Arabic, so how the Quran can be a book for somebody who does not know Arabic? <laughs> is that something for their benefit or against their benefit? This is, they are, this is a stupid argument. But those things can work if you are a person who don't always, always use the Muslim argument to defeat their argument. Muslim argument is stupid. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, because he wants us all to live in food stamps. Anyway, guys, I think we are out of customers for today. Even though we have 1,400. Let us see. Maybe there is a Muslim here. Let us see. No, this is a fake one. Do we have any brave Muslim would like to call us? Final call. If you are interested to go to Jannah and get 72 versions, each one of them, her private part is endless, fitting for your endless penis. Don't hesitate to call us so you can get rewarded. Hmm? Anyone want to get rewarded? Anyone? Putin, he invade innocent country like Muhammad to steal land, but Biden, you have a problem with? Yes, I have a problem with Biden because he is the one who is inviting Putin. When Biden, he sent his son to suck the blood of the Ukrainian to get a salary he don't deserve. Do you have a problem with it? Can you tell me why the Ukrainian, they give a job to the son of the vice president? This guy is even kicked from the army, which means he is not qualified even to work in the post office. Isn't it obvious that this guy is a fraud? Him and his family? Is that how you defend the innocent people by sending your son to take a salary from them for a money he don't deserve? Can't Joe Biden give his son a job? No, he cannot. He have to send him to Ukraine so he can suck the blood of the Ukrainian. Innocent people. How in the world anyone would like this stupid Biden? Do you know this family, how much money they made from China and Ukraine and all the corruption and all the garbage? I mean, they have his computer, they have all his emails, and then now he is not arrested. Garbage in, garbage out. But you know the thing. Putin will invade Ukraine. We send 200 soldiers to Lithuania. What? What? Why are sending soldiers to the, <laughs> the invasion is in Ukraine? <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> you know, imagine there's an invasion in California. We send our soldiers to Alaska. <laughs> To the other side <laughs> what a dummy garbage i mean this guy is telling him and he said in tv we will not do anything our soldier will not fight you so what you would do sanctions you cannot put sanctions on them they will put sanctions on us we are buying their oil we are buying oil and gas from them not only not only us all of the nato all of the nato The Russian, they can make you freeze as we speak now. And then he start begging the Qatari, please, can you, in case uh, Putin, he stop sending us gas, can you send gas, please? Why you do that? We have a lot of gas. Please don't tell me about this garbage, please. One day, this country will open a museum. It's called the Museum of Idiot. And I believe that Joe Biden will take number one between all the idiots we have, because the rest are not better, by the way. I mean, all those presidents until now, we don't have, in this country, we have just a bunch of idiots like Muhammad. God is not a human, no animal. So what, he is a transgender? Guys, a Muslim boy, he says, God is not a human and not animal. 
talking about his God. So what is your God? Can you answer? If Allah is not a human, neither an animal, what he is? How you can confirm that he is not a human and he is not an animal? If there is no way you can confirm that to us? No, I'm just asking how you can confirm. Okay, let us, let us think about it. When God, he say, if you believe in me, I will make your, endless, your penis endless. Is that an animal thinking who love his penis? Or this is God thinking? Are you there, Muslim boy? If Allah is not an animal, why his promises is animal promises? Because this is the interest of animals. What animal he have? A donkey, he eat grass and his penis. That's, that is, that's life for him. Your God, he promised you the grass and he promised you the penis. Is there anything else? We have, a, we have a person, he claimed to be a Hindu. This guy is upset from me because always I make fun of this stupid sad guru. So look this Hindu, what he said to us. This is a very, this guy is a Hindu. He respect Islam, brother. Hmm? This guy is a Hindu, he says. His name is Gadan Chan Banatu, vegetarian. I think you are a funny guy, but I think you are not be fair with Muslims. I am a Hindu. And I think I believe, respect all human. Abdul, isn't it you who just today announced that women who they are wearing hijab, they can't go to school in India? Where is the one who respect the Muslim? The Muslim wear hijab. We respect Muslims, okay? We are Hindu, we respect Muslims. So why a Muslim woman, she can't wear the hijab? What is bothering you? Can a Hindu woman wear hijab? Can she wear a scarf? Hypocrite, potato. Just you're, you're upset because I make fun of your sad guru. Relax. I want you, all of you now, to sit in your ass. We are going to practice yoga. I want you to focus with me. Sadhguru, this is you. This is the sun. You are now in focus and the sun sending energy. And now imagine yourself a solar system. And you are observing the sun. And now your soul will become a spiritual soul because you are vegetarian. And now the sun will go inside the cells of the vegetation inside you. And that will transform into energy. And now we have to redirect our energy. Not there. No, this is the window of your neighbor and she is taking off her clothes. I said direct your energy, but I did not say the window of your neighbor. Now we direct our energy. For now we have two things. The two essence, we have the light, we have the vegetation. Now, now our energy is going to go relax. Now focus with me. Next to you, there's other human being. And he is not a solar like you. You can. 
make reflection of your solar to his insolar body. And that positive energy is going to reflect solarization of solarism, which is coming from Sri Lanka. So he will receive from you your energy, which is a pure energy coming from the sun. And that will make you a solar production product who can save mankind. And now this person here, he feel your energy. And then he will be transformed into a solar. So we started with one solar and now we have two solars. Sadhguru, thank you very much. This is what Sadhguru he say. He sell nothing, he say nothing, he speak nothing. And those people, they listen to nothing. And after you listen for two hours, what you learn? Nothing. Nothing. So he is not, you know, what so if you are a Hindu, I'm a Hindu. Don't force me to eat, the, to, to eat beef now. Stay in your place. I will give you 100 pound for life debate one hour. Why you don't call me right now? I will give you solar system if you debate me for one hour. All what you need to do, just sit under the sun and hold your staff and we will see if the termite will come. Yeah, I misunderstood your belief, absolutely. I know. Uh, <clears throat> do we have any Mohammedan? We debate all kinds of stupidity, including Joe Biden. You can, if you can bring me Joe Biden, I will, uh, you know, I will really give you a good reward. Anyone? Since you support Putin, why are you do like this guy? I support Putin now. Harun is a so smart. He come to the conclusion I support Putin. I mean, no wonder you are a Muslim. <laughs> and no problem why you are causing yourself calling yourself Harun that's mean you are a male cat do you know that this cat is a male cat like you I mean how in the world you call yourself Harun anyway do we have any Abdul Mehdi last call anyone Any half one? Nobody? So we have 1400 people and not even one Muslim want to call us and tell us how Allah did not save Jesus but he did not save Muhammad? A Muslim man saying to me, if you are a man, show your balls. Too much, too much. Are you sure you are not a female? Because this is sound like a female request. If you are a man, show us your balls. A Muslim challenge. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Abdul, listen. I don't know you are, if you were to talk about balls. Is it true that your prophet, his balls was not working, and then he invoked his God Allah, and then he sent him a dish of shish kebab, and he ate it, and he got the power of forty men? 
Call me and I will show you how the balls of your prophet never work. What say you? Challenge with reference. Muhammad says, I was the most weak person between all mankind until I invoke my God Allah and he sent me a dish of shish kebab. I ate it, I got the power of 40 men. And then after he got the power of 40 men and what make it more funny that Fatima, she ate with him. So I don't know what she got. Bulls. Do your prophet have bulls? Anyway, guys, I think we have enough for today. Obviously, those cowards, they will never dare to call. And as you see, this is stupid religion. Nothing in it makes sense. Even the death of Muhammad, even the life of Muhammad, everything about Muhammad, proven Muhammad to be fraud. Everything. Everything. And this is why they don't dare to call and answer. And when they call us, they say, we do not know what to, how to answer you. That is the truth. Uh, a Muslim, he's saying here, you see, Muslims, why you don't call me talk about per pervert? Uh, a Muslim, he says, I don't know, the, the text is gone. I don't know what happened with it. But uh, he said, the Christian prince is, prince is a pervert. The pervert is the one who ordered your wife to give her vagina to him. And he make a verse in the Quran claiming that is God who said that. That is a pervert. The pervert is the one who made shaitan a pervert according to the Quran. Allah in the Quran saying that shaitan says to him that shaitan he became a pervert by Allah. Is that true? And this is the verse I will put it in the front of you in the screen. So when you mention the word pervert, we need to ask, who is the first pervert ever who created pervert? Allah. Chapter 7, verse number 16. Satan, he says, Now for thee, perverting me, I shall surely sit and ambush to them. Your God, Allah, is a pervert. When shaitan, he accompany a pervert like Allah, he turn into a pervert. And this is why we see Allah, the pervert, ordering his prophet, the pervert, to have sex with a child. She is six years old. So how in the world you dare to use the word pervert and you are a Muhammadan? Look who is talking about pervert. Chapter 65, verse number 4 in the Quran, teaching to divorce children. The book of Tahrir al-Wasila, it says that it is allowed for a Muslim to have a sexual joy with an infant without intercourse if she is under a certain age, even if she is an infant, by putting his private part between her legs. Have you ever heard of a sick God pervert more than this? So you are a Muhammadan and you are talking about a pervert? Have you have enough or you want more? Do you want more? Just say the word pervert more and I will give you more reference. And look, when the Muslim, they say something to me and then I flush them with all this garbage, they change the topic. They say, okay, I'm just talking about the Trinity, okay? Forget about the pervert. Like, hold on, why do you want to talk about pervert now? I challenge you to prove to me the Trinity. Like, Abdul, you are the one who mentioned the word pervert. Why do you want to talk about it now? Prince and Prince, God is not a man, okay? Uh, Abdul, but you opened the topic as a pervert. Huh? Meet him in person, Sheikh Othman. You know what? When Sheikh Uthman, he met in person, David Wood, do you know what the first thing he said to him? He said to him, you are six foot tall, mashallah. Pervert. Is it true that the first thing he said to him, go watch the video. He said to him, you are six foot tall. And he was looking like, wow, mashallah. Pervert. Why in the world, the man, he said to a man, you are six foot tall, mashallah. And this man is the enemy of Allah. Why a man he admired how tall David Wood is? 
Go watch the video. It's posted in his channel. So if you see me, what he will say? You look tough, mashallah. You look like a real man, man, mashallah. What a pervert. I never heard of a man flirting with a man like this. You are a six foot, mashallah. And the guy is a Christian guy. He is the enemy of Allah. He is coming to you to discuss about religion. And then you say to him, you are six foot tall, mashallah. I'm so glad he did not ask him more details about other things. You guys are just learning Islam from the worst place. Adam, Abdul, why you don't call me my friend? And I will be happy to learn Islam from you. Is that fair, guys? I will give you a chance, Mr. Adam, to choose a topic, and you are the one who teach us about it. And I will just ask you a question about what you say. That's all. What do you think, people? Do Mr. Adam dare to call us? I will not ask you anything. You speak about something, teach us something, I will ask you about whatever thing you said. That's all. Explain it to us only. What do you think? Are you there, Mr. Adam? I'm giving you opportunity to teach 1,400 people now, and 1,400,000 people later, and millions later, because my videos were going to be translated to all languages, including Indonesian. And do you know how many Indonesians live in Islam every day because of my videos, my friend? Do you know? You have no idea. So why you don't call instead of complaining? And by the way, you can open your camera and you can tell your wife to give you some grape like Ali Dawa, and you can wear a joker circus, from the circus suit. Just to convince us that you are a civil person. Still, you cannot explain anything. Go ahead. Why you don't call me? Okay, forget about calling me. Tell me why Allah did not save Muhammad by poison killed, but he saved the Isa. So, you know, saved the Isa. Do you know? If you don't dare to answer by calling, we'll answer in chat. How many translation of my Bible days? All languages. What's your is that in is that causing you pain? So why you translate the Quran then, Mr. Sufyan? When we say version, we are speaking about translation because the same translation exists in the same language many times. So when you Muslim translate Yusuf Ali, is that in your Quran? Yes, it is. Because Muslim translation is totally different from each one. As an example, the verse in the front of us here, chapter 7, verse number 16. If we move to different translator, we will see the word perverting is disappearing. So you are the one who have different version of the Quran. And not only that, you're a prophet here who said, I received seven Quran, seven real versions, not translation. Why? Because, because, my people cannot handle it. Is that true? Here we go. This is the hadith. I will put it for you on the screen. Allah, he sent one Quran. Allah, he sent one Quran. Muhammad, he told Allah, you are stupid. My people are so dummy. One Quran will not work with them. They need more Quran to understand. It's in the front of you. He keep asking Allah for more Quran, more Quran. So he sent him seven Quran. Now I challenge you to recite for me the seven Quran. Any Abdul? Look, look how many Muhammadan in the chat. They are calling me names. Unbelievable, but none of them dare to call me. Why Allah need to send seven Quran? For people who speak one language. 
Why Allah, you know, the Muslim, they say to us, the Quran is an Arabic miracle. You see how miracle it is to the point I need to write the book seven times. So then maybe they will understand. This is a big failure. Imagine I have my book, one of my book, The Deception of Allah. I write it first time. Then people, they say, uh, your English is so good, but we could not understand. So, okay, let me write it again. So I write in the second time and I publish it. And then they said to me, we could not really get it. This is not, you know. So now I wrote two books, the same book, twice. Still, they did not get it. So I write it for the third time, and then the fourth time, and then the fifth time, the sixth time, and then the seventh time. And until now, the Muslim can't understand the Quran. After seven times, the Muslim did not understand the Quran. Do you see how good the Arabic of Allah to the point after writing the book, rewriting the book seven times? And still they cannot handle it. And look what Muhammad says. He says, my people are not capable of. Capable of what? His people are not capable. Do you see it? My people will not be able to do so. One Quran, my people will not be able to do so. Two Quran, my people will not be able to do so. Three Quran, four Quran, five Quran, six Quran. So how many Quran? And this is the book which is written in a clear Arabic? We need to write it seven times? Any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan would like to call me? Muslim boy, he said, show me one mistake in the Quran. Well, all the Quran is a mistake. Which one you want me to start? Why you don't call me and you choose the chapter and I will show you the, the mistake from any chapter you wish. Anyone. This is how, my, how strong my challenge is. All the Muslims are crying in the chat for very simple reason. We make Muslims leave Islam as simple as that. And you can do nothing about it. Who is a Muhammadan would like to call me and get me busted as long as it's so easy. I find it very funny when a Muslim he says, show me one mistake in the Quran. Like what? The sun set in murky water. He found the sitting place of the sun. He found where the sun rising. The sperm coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. Look like your God, Allah, do not understand that man have a testicle, not as a decoration. I think your God, he think that those testicles are like something to hang on the Christmas tree. Your God, Allah, he never heard of testicles. Hmm? Any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan would like to call us? Who is a Muhammadan? You see, they don't want to talk about the topic. They cannot answer about our topic. And now they don't dare even to talk about the topic they are asking us to talk about. Who is a Muslim would like to call us? And prove to us that Muhammad is a prophet anyway. Anyone? Your Bible said the Messiah would not die in Jerusalem, but the historians say he did not. Well, this is because you're an idiot. In Jerusalem, all killing was done in that area. Why? Because it is considered as part of Jerusalem. This is why it's called the Juljula. You are an idiot. All the killing. So when they mention the killing, they talk about that area specifically. This is where all the killing happened. You are a dummy. Secondly, if no prophet will die in, unless he is dying in Jerusalem, then your prophet did die in Jerusalem. So your prophet is a fraud. Number three, if Jesus, does Jesus die out of the gate of Jerusalem, according to you, this is out of Jerusalem, but this is confirmed that Jesus died and your prophet is a fraud. Number three, number three Number four, the death where Jesus was crucified is not even 600 meter from the location of the court. How that is out of Jerusalem? <laughs> when the Bible says Jerusalem, Jerusalem, 
the one who killed the prophet. It's not Jerusalem who killed the prophet, it's the authority of Jerusalem. And this is where they do the killing. They kill it in that area called Al Juljula. So you are a dummy like your prophet again. Any Abdul? Why your prophet did not die in Jerusalem? Is a false prophet? Do we have any Muslim? Hmm? In the same time, Muhammad he went to Al Aqsa. <laughs> According to Muslims. So if the place where Jesus was crucified is not inside Jerusalem, that's mean Muhammad he did not go to Al Aqsa. He did not go to Jerusalem. Because Al Aqsa is out of Jerusalem, based on your statement. Do you see the stupidity? Go right now and see where is the Aqsa is and where is where is the the church of uh, of uh, uh, of the empty tomb of Jesus. They are very close. So if that area was is not inside Jerusalem and this is not Jerusalem, that means your prophet Muhammad never went to Jerusalem. Ever, dummy. Who is next? <clears throat> Quran came and Jibreel to Muhammad. Bible, he is unknown. Okay. So Mr. Muslim boy, he is saying that the the Quran came by Angel Jibreel, but there is there's any witnesses for this Angel Jibreel? None of the historian uh, uh, the one you are talking about, they are saying this is out of Jerusalem as a contradiction. They are saying this is out of the gate. But this is not out of Jerusalem, because this is what Jerusalem is. Jerusalem is not just a wall, and what is inside it is the land belong to it. So a few hundred meters from the gate is not considered out of Jerusalem. All the killing of Jerusalem will happen there. So if somebody killed in Jerusalem, they will say he was killed in Jerusalem, but in fact he killed in that area. Why it's called Jerusalem then? Because this is the authority, the judge, the court, the ruler, and this is the area of killing. And your, and your stupid prophet, he took the, the word Jahannam and he put it in the Quran from that name. Jahannam. If we ask the Muslims, what Jahannam mean? They say this is the place of hell. If I ask you what Jahannam mean, you do not know. This is where garbage was burned and where dead body was thrown. What Jahannam? Any Muslim can ex explain to us what Jahannam? Are you going to be gathered, all of you, in Jahannam next to Jerusalem? Do you see it? Do you see it? <laughs> so according to you Muslims, the hell is next to Jerusalem too. Look what's happening around Jerusalem. <laughs> and here Jahannam is a stolen from the from the our book. Muhammad is a is a thief. He steal. He put words in his book. I don't know what he's saying. Do we have any brave Muslim would like to call us? <clears throat> Anyone? Any Abdul? Mayday, Mayday. Who is a Abdul would like to call us and get rewarded? <clears throat> Anyone? They don't know what to say. And you know, by the way, how come your prophet Muhammad in the Quran, he says, I confirm what is between their hand. And this is what is between our hand. So you Muslim, you say this is a contradiction and your prophet, he confirm it. 
and his god he confirm it. Who is this stupid here? Huh? Is that your Quran? Huh? Is it? And every every translator he tried to hide the truth, confirming what is with them. Some Muslims they try to hide it. They say, "Oh no, what was with them?" <laughs> so you Muslims do not confirm it. Your prophet he confirm it. Hmm. CP, prove you are a man. Okay, well, I can prove it. Very easy. I'm going to do muta if you send me somebody, you know, and I will do muta, and then she will come back to you with some twins. Is that will satisfy you because you insist to prove to you that I'm a man? And at the same time, your prophet was not a man. And I can prove it in a second. Your prophet could not have kids. Your prophet could not make his wife have orgasm. And this is the proof. If a man, he is having sexual relationship with his wife, and then the wife, she never experienced orgasm. So, what the man was doing. Huh? As you see, this is your prophet wife asking the prophet, do women really have this charge? This is the wife of Muhammad asking her husband, is she serious? Women, they have discharge. Women, they have orgasm. She could not believe it. Does that really happen? Women, she have discharge. Muhammad said yes. So that proved that Muhammad is not a man. What he was doing in the bed. Why his wife, she never had this charge? You tell me. Are you there? And as you see, this is all is sahih. We are not making things up. Was he a man? I mean, if he used his nose, he can make her have this charge. What the problem of Muhammad? He is suffering from da'if intercourse? Is that da'if intercourse? When your prophet, he says, I was the most weak person between all mankind in sexual intercourse. And then I invoke my God Allah and he sent me a dish of shish kebab. Is that proving that Muhammad he have no proof that he is a man? You see, I'm going with your logic. For me, I don't care if you have a penis or not. That is not really a problem. I mean, because some people, they can be born with defect. Maybe he don't have, maybe he cannot. But that will not make him, for me, a reason to uh, say he's a liar. That's what your prophet says. He was the most weak person between all mankind in sexual intercourse. Then he asked, invoke Allah. Then he sent him a dish of shish kebab. He ate it. He got the power of 40 men. And what is driving me dizzy, how Muhammad, he measured his ability in bed for 40. Did they have competition and Muhammad, he won? How you know 40? How you know what not 41? How we know it's not 39? Why Muhammad is stuck with 40 and Alibaba? Is that Alibaba story? Alibaba and the 40 thief? And isn't it you, Muslim, you say, if Allah wants something, he say, B is going to be. So how come Allah needed to make a dish of shish kebab and he send it to Muhammad to fix his penis? Can't Allah say to Muhammad, penis, boom, and his penis is booming? Why he need to send a dish? Have you ever heard of God, he fix an illness by a dish?
هني محمدا What happened to those who want to speak about proof to us that you are a man? Anyone? You blocked my screed, coward? No, I did not block your screed. We are laughing at you. Why you don't call me so nobody can block you, Muslim boy? By the way, your mother, she gave birth to you after two years, three years, four years, seven years, six years, eight years, ten years. Choose one. Sister, get out of here, potato. You have no time for kids. Fifth temperance, you support dictator to get donating. Huh? So now if I support dictator, they will donate for me? <laughs> I just received donation from Saddam Hussein. Hold on. Hello? Vladimir? Vladimir? No kidding. How are you doing, my friend Vladimir Putin? You want to make a donation? Okay, listen. If you want to make a donation, please don't deposit by a ruble. Make it in dollar, okay? How much? No way. 10 rubles? Thank you, Mr. President. Dictator. We do not know what to do without you. Those dummies. I mean, where, where we get those creatures from? Somebody tell me. I support dictator to get donations. Well, somebody told you that those guys in the chat, they are leaders of countries. What a stupidity, man. And which dictator I support? Which is that? What the heck? That's deep. Hold on. I have Olga. She is calling me from Russia. Hello? What's your name? Olga from Russia? R from Russia. Okay. Well, what I want to do, Olga? You want to donate? What? You want to donate your eyelashes for Muhammad? Ah, because he used to put eyelander in his eyes three times a day thank you very much hey guys we just received a donation from olga from russia she decided to donate her eyelashes to prophet muhammad who used to put eyelashes eyeliner three times a day and you are talking about proving who is the man have you ever heard of a man he is a prophet putting eyeliner three times a day and he pissed like a woman are you there You will go to hell, I can prove it. Why you don't call me and prove it? Go ahead. I can prove to you that the Quran says all Muslims will go to hell. Will take me two seconds. Do you want to see it? Wama min kumu illa wa What the heck? Yes, brother. Wama min kumu illa wa Not even a single of you one Muslims. But he will enter hell. وَكَانَ عَلَىٰ رَبُّكَ حُكْمًا مَقْضِيًّا It's a must. It's a destiny. So, when your prophet says that not a single one of you, just go to the verse. Hold on. <laughs> when, you're, when you're city God, he say that not even a single one of you, but he will not, but he will go to hell. Chapter 19, verse number 71. Why you are saying to me, I will go to hell? I'm not a Muslim. And look at the fake translation. There is not one of you, but will pass over it. But in Arabic, it says, which means you will get in. How we can get them busted? Let us do it. Chapter 19, verse number 71. And this is the translation or transportation. Read and love. All of you will go to hell according to the Quran. Brother, read it. Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad, said, There is not of you shall approach it. Translation There is not a single of you, 
but in the exclusion of the prophet and messengers, save that he will enter it, i.e. hell. It's a fixed destiny. Do you see it? So according to your religion, if we can call it religion, it's you who is going to go to hell. Do you see it? Who's next? Yeah. Sufyan, he's getting smarter. He's saying, stop taking verse out of context. I just showed you the explanation my, by, made by you, Mr. Contest. What's, what's wrong with those people? I'm showing them the interpretation made by their prophet cousin. The only one their prophet named him who can explain the Quran. And he prayed to Allah to explain the Quran perfectly. And he said to me, stop taking the verses out of context, okay? Then you stop doing that. Stop doing that. You remind me of your prophet when he said to his cousin, why you don't believe in the, the Lord of the star? The cousin, he said, I don't want to believe in the Lord of the star. Your prophet said, aren't you afraid that the dog of Allah will eat you? Sufyan, do you like to call me and give me details about the dog of Allah? What's wrong with this religion? How come the dog is so filthy yet Allah, he have a dog? The dog of Allah will eat him? Sufyan, be honest with me. Do you think today the dog of Allah will eat me? The dog of Allah? Why in the world Allah have a dog. Hold on, I receive a call. Truth and Prince, I'm going to get butted. Hold on. Stop spitting. First, learn how to say the greeting of Islam. Isn't it Islam say Assalamu Alaikum? Truth and Prince, first of all, the greeting of Islam we took it from the Bible. Ah, oh, okay. I'll get the point there. When the angel came to Prophet Muhammad, they did not say to him Assalamu Alaikum. Uh, Zakir? Why the angel did not say to him, to Muhammad, Assalamu Alaikum? Because simple, the angel, he came and he had a dog of Allah. And when he had a dog of Allah, he can say, Assalamu Alaikum. So he came and he had the dog of Allah with him. Where do you get this from? He left it out in the door. So the prophet, he come with the dog of Allah with him. And because he had the dog of Allah with him, he did not say, Assalamu Alaikum. What is the connection? Prince and Prince. First of all, there's a very strong connection. Uh -huh. Explain to us. First of all, stop interrupting me. Zach and Nike, I'm giving you the microphone. You are giving the microphone. I'm using my microphone. And you are using your microphone. Stop lying. Zach and Nike, I mean, I'm giving you the microphone, which means your microphone. Christian Prince, I paid for my microphone. And this is not your microphone. Stop lying. You did not give me any microphone. Zach and Nike, this is not what I'm saying. I'm saying, I'm, it's microphone is yours, so speak. Why you are getting upset? Christian Prince, you did lie. You said you are giving the microphone. And I swear by Allah, I bought this microphone from my own. Zachar Naik, take it easy. I did not say I bought a microphone for you. I said it's your microphone. So go ahead and talk and explain to us the point. Forget about it, Christian Prince. I can't forget about it. Because you get died and I get you busted. You said the microphone is yours. And you're claiming that you're giving microphone. In fact, the reality, this is my microphone. You get your microphone, I get mine. Uh -huh. Zachar Naik, remind me of the chapter of Al Kafrun where it says, you got your religion, I have mine. Exactly. Yeah. So are you saying when Allah he says that, he means you got your microphone, I got mine? Exactly. Because I can I'm trying to change the topic. I ask you a question, and obviously you are in the corner, and this is why you don't want to answer it, and now you switch the topic to talk about the microphone. Listen, Prince. First of all, I'm not telling the microphone. What? I'm not telling the microphone. Uh, Zakir, I said the topic, not the microphone. Oh, sorry. I did not take the topic. Because the topic is the microphone. What the heck? Okay, as long as the topic is the microphone. When Allah, he speak to Zakir Naik, I mean to Muhammad, did he use a microphone or he use his voice? Christian Prince, Allah alam. What does that mean? That means Allah knows best. What the heck? Okay, when Allah, he spoke to Moses from the tree, he was speaking by his voice directly or he will use a microphone. Christian Prince, Allah alam. Okay, hold on. When the Prophet of Allah, he did pee before he died. 
Do you think that Allah inspired him to pee before he die because he don't want to take him with his soul full of piss? Fifth and Prince, Allahu Alam, Akarnaik. Are you sent by a guy his name Allahu Alam? Because until now you're not answering me. So listen, Abdul, who is the Muslim who have different answer from Allahu Alam? Who is the Muslim who can tell us what Allah he knows? Obviously, your God Allah he knows nothing. 1400 people watching, not a single Muslim there to call me. Where are you? Hello? Low level? Eh? You want to talk about low level? Muslim boy, you want to talk about low level? Why you are always making fun of Muta when some of us are okay with it anyway? Make no sense. We heard the feeling of Eliza. Eliza, can, do you like to call me and tell me why you like, you know, what, what do you mean? Explain to us the details. Do you like to call? Do you like to call and tell us why? Why always, Eliza, she said, Why you always make fun of Muta when some of us are okay with it? Explain to us what do you mean we are okay with it? What does that mean? How far your okay is? Do you want to call? Just give us a call. So, you know, maybe that will encourage some Muslims to call after they hear your voice. Because usually this is what make Muslims call. Last time you call me right away, tons of Muslims start calling because they want to show you that there is men in so you can add them and talk to them. I know what the point. Suddenly, every Muslim is calling after she called. Before that, no Muslim is calling. The second they hear a Muslim female is calling, all the Muhammadan, they call. That is the fact. So if you call us, you will encourage some many Abdul to call. What do you think, Eliza? Thank you, Wayne. Pray for all of us, my friend, in the church. Any Muhammadan? I mean, I can stay longer. How long we are here now? Three hours, 23 minutes, and already I have a headache. Anyone? Anybody? No? No, we don't block them, my friend. Let, let people, the point of us speaking about Islam here is to show what Islam is. So you block them. Uh, Christian Prince, Deuteronomy chapter 23, verse number two, speak about private part. Ah, uh, Sufyan, I would like to fight with you, my friend. And do you think it's okay for you as a Muslim if your wife, she grabbed my balls and my private part? What do you think? Sufyan, what is the opinion of Islam if a Muslim woman, she grabbed the balls of a man? So are you saying to me that in Islam, it's okay for a Muslim woman to grab a balls of your neighbor? I'm waiting for your answer, Sufyan. I like this religion, Islam, very much. The only religion allow Muslim women to grab the balls of the neighbors. Your wife, Sufyan, she will come back home. And she put her hand around your eyes. She want to play with you, you know? And you sniff. What is that? What is the smell? Oh, I forgot to tell you. I was holding the balls of the neighbor. 
Are you there, Sufyan? Are you there? As you see in the Bible, it's forbidden for a Muslim to hold someone else private part. In your religion, what is the rules? She can? Obviously she can. Otherwise you will not complain. I'm not going over. I just posted it for you. Here we go. I'm asking you, what is the rule in your religion? If your wife, she grabbed my balls. CP warp it up, please. My friend, what I can do? I want to leave from two hours ago. Trust me, I have a headache. Uh -uh. Uh, there's nothing more to say. Muta is allowed, so no need for a call. Oh, okay. You got the point there. You see, Muslim women, Muslim men, they are upset because the Bible punishes a woman if she grabs the balls of a stranger. But Muslim women are grabbing the balls, the penis, kissing, whatever, licking, whatever, you know. It's okay. Not like the disgusting Bible. A Muslim woman, she can do even breastfeeding for adult. Do you see how disgusting the book of the Jews? Muhammad was a prophet of the hippie. He was a hippie tippy. Everybody have to share the balls with each other. Muslims, according to Sufyan, when he sat with his friends, his wife, she grabbed the balls of his friend. His friend, she grabbed his balls. Because there's no punishment. Hey, by the way, Sufyan, what is the penalty of marrying your mother in Islam? Guys, do you know that if a Muslim he marry his mother in Islam, there's no penalty? Can you believe it? Who wanna challenge me? There's no penalty if you marry your mother, and there's no penalty if you marry your daughter. Who wanna challenge me? But in the Old Testament, if a woman, she grab, uh, even if she is defending her husband, she is not doing it because she is sexually trying to do something, but because this is a filthy behavior of her, and it's not a fair fight, the punishment is severe. In Islam, if you marry your mother, no penalty. Who want to challenge me? <laughs> any abdu you know when when you hear there's a stuff uh, it's hard to believe that there is any religion in the world can believe such a thing can teach something you know something like that You can't believe it. But yes, this is what it says. What is the penalty? Any Muslim? Go search right now. Al Imam Abu Hanifa, one of the greatest Imams, and this is Hanifa, you know, this is a Muslim sect. The Muslim Sunni, they have four sects. Hanafi is one of them. This is taken from his name. Lahad Alaman Tazawaja min Umme O Ibnate. There's no had had mean severe penalty, like, you know, something extreme. Any Muslim? What kind of religion this religion is?
Any Abdu? Any half Abdu? Anyway, potatoes, 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 da -da 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 -da. I like to dip the skin, I like to fry it in, I like to da 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 Betito, 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 Hello. All right. You know, when Muslim they mention anything about the Old Testament, as an example here, when they say in this verse in the Bible, uh, any verse regarding uh, adultery, like this one, or uh, uh, you know, anything, this is showing you how conservative the Jews are and how lousy Islam is. Hello. Hello? Do you hear me? I hear nothing. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with her. I feel sorry really for the Mohammedan. They are really desperate, trying to find a solution. While Muhammad he allow muta, the Old Testament is extremely, extremely tough in any things. There's a huge difference between the Old Testament and the garbage of Muhammad. Hello? Hello? Yes, Eliza, what, uh, what's up? Why are you complaining about Muta when we're allowed to do it? Okay, why are you allowed to do it? Because it says it in the Quran. Why it says that in the Quran? I mean, what the point is of, of this Muta? I don't see why okay. there's a problem with it. So if you have a daughter and she said she found a guy in the elevator and she did have sex with him and he gave her $10 in return, that is okay for you? But what difference does it make to you? I'm not, to me, I don't do it. I'm asking because I believe this is very stupid and very wrong. This is prostitution, isn't it? No, because they're married. What married? He just paid her money for, for sleeping with her for temporary time. For a few days. It can be 10 minutes. Who said three days? And so what difference is going to be uh, if it's three days or three hours? But why does it make a difference to you? Because obviously it's prostitution. Do she get paid for sleeping with the guy? Yeah, but it doesn't make a difference to you. Uh, it's not about me. I'm asking you. Is it okay in prostitution in Islam? Is it okay? Well, it's not really. What What is the prostitution? Prostitution is a woman. She got paid for sex, correct? But they both agree to do it. Yeah, but the prostitution too, they agree to do it. Right? Uh -huh. When a man, he see a woman and she is a hooker, 
He asked her how much. She asked him for how long. They agree. They go to bed. So you are saying to me that your prophet, he allowed prostitution. Well, they made it that word. They made it what? They called it prostitution later on. I don't understand. What? We're allowed to do it. That's all I know. Okay, but I'm, I'm talking to you. Don't you want to use your brain? Isn't it this is what prostitution is? A man, he pay a woman for sex. In return, she get money. And this is for preset time. They agree. But we're both happy, so why not? Oh, so as long as you are happy and he is happy, it's okay. And what, what if the guy, he... Uh, he, you know, uh, he have uh, he made you, or he caused you to have a baby from him during those few hours of sex. Is that okay for you too? There's something called abortion. Oh, you uh, so in Islam, it's okay to do abortion now. Since when was it haram? It is haram. So now you slept with this guy in the elevator. He gave you ten dollars, and now you will have his son. Why you do that to yourself? I don't know. You don't know. But we're allowed to do it. That's all I know. Yeah. Did, how, like, do you really do it always? We already talked about this. Oh, I forgot. So you did it or not? It's not really murder because there's no baby. No, I'm saying, did you get paid for, you know, did the Muslim come to you and he offer you money? sleep with him to do muta and you agreed did you practice that mm, no comment why you don't want to say is it a shameful thing not really so what you don't say either you say yes or you say no yes so you did it of course how much he paid you and don't worry I'm not worried, he's the one who paid. I'm just asking how much money, I'm trying to find out how much money you make. Mm, I don't know. You forgot how much he paid you? I'm just calling because you said that the others are too scared to call you. So you are the only Muslim who is brave to call and you are a female. Isn't it? This is very funny. But they're going to call you afterwards. Ah, they will call you because now you called. You are trying to encourage them. Why are you not calling from the beginning then? We are here because for three I'm hours. Not scholars like them. What do you mean you are a scholar? You are you are a scholar. Here we go. You practice muta. You have experience in muta. You practice uh, all kinds of things. Breastfeeding for adult. So you you are you know you are really uh, very devoted, a believer who practice Islam very well. But it's my religion. It's your religion. Where are you from originally? London. Okay, you live in London now, but originally you are from where? Don't worry. Oh, yeah, I, I know this country, it's, you know, don't worry. Yeah, don't worry, be happy. I saw it in the cartoon. It's a country, it's a very nice country. Uh, yeah, I like this country. So, in the country which is called Don't Worry, you learn that Muta is okay. But, okay, but isn't in London, is it, is it, uh, is it okay to work as a, to do Muta without license? Yeah. You can do that with no license. It's allowed over here. Yeah. There's a there's a guy, his, his name is Mimi Hijab. I don't know if you know him. And uh, he get upset from Muslim women who give their breast for adult. Why? I don't know. You know, he was upset from a sheikh. He says to him, can I suck your tits? And he said to the wife, you know, did you ever speak to him as long as you live in London? I know who he is. Did you meet him? Not really. Okay. Well, is it okay if you see him next time in London? You ask him what is the problem and you record it. Why you are against breastfeeding for adult if the prophet he allow it? Mm, I can ask him if he wants to do it with me. He do it with you what? Oh, you mean breastfeeding for adult with him? Yeah. Okay, look like you are open for all uh, all customers. Uh, okay, but this is not what I'm asking you for now. I'm asking you because this guy, he go around and he don't want to believe his prophet is doing that. 
and he was making fun of a sheikh saying can i uh, okay I'm, I'm reading his quote here he put post that in twitter he says okay can i suck your wife tit to make her haram so this guy he's against this supposedly and he don't want to believe in his prophet teaching so how can you believe in it he don't believe in it because he's looking at the hadith he's not what he's looking at the hadith yeah the hadith says it's okay to do it no it abrogations it oh it's abrogated for some people yeah it's not abrogated for you it's abrogated for him because they believe in different version uh, okay and why why it's abrogated and why allah he gave it and then he abrogated what the point of this mm, i don't know mm. okay what what else you know about islam something you like additional to muta and breastfeeding for adult mm, i told you already what you said respect but we showed you there's no respect in islam islam says you have a half a brain as a woman do you accept that that you have half a brain but that's in the hadith yeah well the quran says a witness of one man is equal to two women and the hadith come from that is what make it make the women half a brain I don't really care about the hadiths. Uh, but you are the one who just practice in muta and practice in breastfeeding for adults from the hadith. Mm, but there's some of them only. Uh, so you like only some hadith which is have like to do Bukhari, with... Like Bukhari. Bukhari, uh, Sahih Muslim. Uh, Bukhari, Sahih Muslim. Well, okay. Well, uh, I don't know. I mean... Uh, so you like only Sahih al-Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. If the hadith written in a different book, you don't like it. Why is your chat making fun of me? I'm not making fun of you, but because the hadith we are talking about actually is in al-Bukhari. You just said you accept al-Bukhari. So when, when your prophet, he says women have half a brain, that is in al-Bukhari. And you said you Where? accept al-Bukhari. Where does it say? Yeah, I will put it for you on the screen. Here we go. Let me, give me a second. Can you send me the link? Uh, yeah. I will send you Al-Bukhari himself so he can practice breastfeed for adult too. Oh, no. This is Al-Bukhari. As you see, it says Al-Bukhari, narrated by etc. And this is the hadith number 304. So if you accept hadith from Al-Bukhari, well, this is Al-Bukhari, the prophet of Islam, he says that women, they have deficiency in their intelligence and mm -hmm. their religion. When they ask him what is our deficiency, he says, isn't it the women uh, uh, as a witness is equal, two women equal to one man? They said, yes. He said, don't the women, they have, uh, and they said to him, uh, he said, this is the deficiency of your intelligence. And when they ask him what is deficiency in our religion, he says, you have menstruation. Oh, well, that was in the olden times. So today, Muslim women, they don't have menstruation no more? No, because back then, only the guys used to go outside. Yeah, but this is not outside or inside. He is saying that you have half a brain because, and you will go to hell because you have menstruation. So do you Muslim women these days still have menstruation or you lost it? No, it says they can't pray. Okay, they don't kind of pray because they have menstruation and he considered that a deficiency in her religion. That's why they will go to hell. Do you think this is right? What is your no, fault? No, it only says they can't pray. No, here we go. If you read in the top, it says, He said to them, O women, give alms. I have seen the majority of the devourers of the hellfire are women. Do you see it? So Yeah, because we can't pray. Okay, Sometimes. but you cannot pray because you have your menstruation. But this is not your fault, isn't it? Allah is the one who made you with your menstruation. That's a very good point. And this is stupid, you know, I, uh, because if Allah is the one who made you with the menstruation, then Allah should not punish you, sending you to hell. I know. Yeah, so why you don't leave Islam? Uh, no, because it's only one thing. What one thing he just he, he just sent you to hell and you are saying this is one only one thing? You are already now no, in hell according maybe, to maybe maybe we don't understand it properly. It's in the front of you. 
There should be explanation for this. this if you just explain it. I mean, this is after the explanation. Do you see that they have the whole conversation? They ask the question. He explained. You can ask someone else, please. Okay. So why? Why? What? What's wrong? I mean, can't you read because it? Because I can't. Un I can't answer this one. You cannot answer this one. Okay. It's not so, very nice. It's not very nice. Mm. Is it nice? Because from you're asking me. Oh, you are the one who's calling me, right? Because you wanted me to. I wanted you to. I said you want to explain to us. So now you, I'm, I'm the. You want to play victim now? Please ask someone else, please. Okay. Why well, you don't hang up? Why well, you, you know, almost you're going to uh, play victim now. Hang up. It's you who's calling. Hang I'm up. Sorry. Okay. Take care. Yeah. Uh, I mean, she is the one who called. And I feel sorry for you. You know. I mean, what kind of religion this religion is? This woman, she is a victim of this garbage of Muhammad. I don't think she is a bad person. But Islam will make you say what you are saying. As simple as that. How in the world anyone will say that women, they have deficiency in their religion because they have period. And he is saying to them, you will go to hell. Like, what the heck? What does this have to do with this? If God, he made her design her to have ministration and you are the one who forbid her from praying when she had ministration and now you claim that she have deficiency in religion because you forbidden her from praying when she had ministration poor women i never heard of a stupidity like this that you have deficiency in your religion because you have ministration. What is this? There's any Muslim would like to call and explain to us? All right. Look like we have another Muslim, maybe. Let us see. <laughs> we will see. Uh, this Muslim is playing Quran for us. <laughs> This Muslim guy, he called me to play Quran for me. <laughs> oh, stupid. You know, he's playing for me Al Fatiha. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Have you ever heard of a stupid God saying in the name of Allah when he is the one who's talking? I mean, whatever you say, Muslims, we will laugh. I never heard of a God. He is the one who's talking and then he's saying in the name of Allah. So who is he? Who is the one saying in the name of Allah? Allah. Allah is saying in the name of Allah, the most gracious, most merciful. And then Allah, he says, praise be to Allah. What a stupid religion. I mean, this is the best you can get me. And then Allah, he says, most gracious, most merciful. But already you said that. Why are you repeating yourself? You did not even move one step farther, and you are repeating exactly the same phrase. Most gracious, most merciful, according to your translation, and this is the most gracious, most merciful. What's wrong with you? Already you said that. Guys, in the name of Christian Prince. The most gracious, the most merciful. Praise be to Christian Prince. The most gracious, most merciful. He is the most gracious, most merciful. He is the master of debating Muslims. And then Allah, He says, Thee do we worship, and thin aid we seek. Allah is saying that. 
You see, Muhammad, he forgot to add the word say in the beginning. This is the only way to make it make sense. Say, pray like this. Nowhere it says that, as you see. What a stupid religion. So we got this lady, she called us, and I said, okay, if, she, if you call now, the Muslim will be encouraged and they will call us. And here we go, we got a Muslim to call us, but he was not man enough to speak. A lady, she is more brave than you. He's playing Quran for me. Any Abdul? They worship and we seek aid? Are you sure? Why you don't seek aid of Allah and call me? Don't you think that this is a fake phrase because if this is a true, you can call me and you will win. Seek his aid. If the aid of Allah is not working, that's mean your God, Allah is not working. Can you, before you call me, seek the aid of Allah and just call? And Allah will aid you if he is real. But obviously, you know, your God Allah, his aid does not exist. <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? May they, may they. Do you see why we laugh at the Quran? It's a stupid book. Fairy tale stories. God have two hands, both of them they are right hand. Allah have a shin. Allah have five fingers. What is that? If I make the simplest challenge to the Muhammadan, they will go dizzy. Okay, let us make it so simple. You're a prophet, he says, Allah have a hand and each hand have five fingers. Each hand has five fingers. So this is the hand of Allah. Okay. This is the hand of Allah. And those are the fingers of Allah. I'm trying to make them not like a human. So you can, don't get upset because Allah is not a human, brother. So Allah have a five fingers. Okay. And those are the fingers of Allah. The beach. Okay. Why he have fingers? Who is the Muslim can help us and tell us why Allah has fingers? Anyone? I don't know. Allah have a shin. Why have a shin? I don't know. Why not six fingers? Why five fingers? Lizard have five fingers. The human have five fingers. Allah have five fingers. And then the Muslim, they say to us, Allah is not like anyone. Are you sure? What is the point of this God with five fingers? <clears throat> is that really a finger, my friend? You know the guy, his name is Picasso. He learned drawing from me. What's wrong with you? There's a, there's a person here in between you, imagine, questioning my artistic ability can you believe that i mean what this world is ending to we are in the end of the time brother to the point they are questioning if those really are fingers i mean how clear i can make it more than this look how beautiful it is just what hold on i got a i got an offer from uh uh organization in hululu lulu they are saying that if i like to sell my this paint, how much? Oh no, come on. That's, I mean, they think, they, they think I'm a fool, you know? I just got an offer to sell this drawing. 
Guess for how much? You will not believe it. They are offering me unlimited lifetime breastfeeding for adult. Plus, wipe to wipe the nipples before we suckle to be sure they are clean. Plus, plus, unlimited time of muta. Plus, the last one I didn't want it. No, no. Now, come on. They want, they want to give me Siwak. You know, remember the guy, the story of the Siwak? There's a story, the Muslim, they claim it's true, that the guy, he made fun of the Siwak. The Siwak is a piece of wood they put it in their mouth. So this guy, he put it in his anus. And then Allah, he punished him. So after a few months, he, his belly is full and he have a baby. Why? Because he put the Siwak in his anus. And then he gave a birth to a rat and then he died right away. Brother, this is a true story. This is why I refuse the siwak. You know, I'm not going to do anything with it. I will not insert it anywhere. Any Muhammadan? Why Allah have five fingers? Anyone? Why you have five fingers? It's a question. Why Allah have a leg? No answer. Why Allah have a shin? No answer. Why Allah have two eyes? Why two eyes, not six, not seven? Why Allah have a face? If you have a face, that's me, have a back. No answer. All right. I think we are done for today, guys. I'm getting, uh, I have a little headache. Too much breastfeeding for adult for one person which i cannot handle no more too much milk will kill you and by the way those women they are old women they don't have even milk they were suckling what exactly the woman whom muhammad he ordered her she is not having a baby like she is giving milk she's not actually they are this guy supposedly they cannot have kids this woman she cannot have kids her and her husband so when he ordered a man to suckle her, he was suckling for what purpose? What a crazy cult. So I want to say thank you all. Don't forget to download my videos. As you know, we don't keep them. You can cut them pieces. Before you cut them pieces, say Alhamdulillah, Bismillah, to make it halal. Okay? Before, before you slice my video into pieces, because you can make many videos of my video, one video, you know, you do not need to post it all one piece. I don't advise you. It's too long. So make a copy for everything we spoke about. I mean, make a, a part and then you can post them and you give them a new title as the topic is in the video. So I want to say thank you all for being here. Uh, it's possible that this coming Monday, this coming Monday, today is Saturday. Tomorrow is Sunday. This coming Monday, morning time, in USA time, New York time. It's possible around maybe 7 or 8. I will go live because we are going to gut a bunch of Abdul busted. They are sheikhs. And they are going after some Christians who know nothing about Islam. So I will get them busted. They do not know I'm coming. They have no idea I'm coming. If they did not retreat and run away, we will see. So if they retreat, well, they retreat. If they are brave, you know, if they did the debate, so Monday morning, if those people, they keep their promise, I will go live on air. I'm just waiting for the confirmation. I cannot, I cannot confirm it, right? But I can confirm that if they show up, I will be here. And I will make them shish kebab all right so this coming monday is going to be in the morning if it happened if it happened i cannot confirm it because this is in in their hand not in my hand until i see you soon again i say to you stay in peace live in peace and obey the lord of peace that is our lord be good as your father be holy like him don't follow the devilish muhammad who have no 
ethic, zero. He is below ethic. Nothing in his life or in his death was good. The Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. And the fruits of Muhammad is beyond explanation. It is ugly, it is bad, it is disgusting. You do not know people by their names, my friend, by their fruits. The Bible says to examine just the spirit. This is the spirit. Bad spirit will give nothing but evil. So I advise the Muslims, the man you are following, do you have a good spirit? A man who make verses saying any woman she want to give herself to me, what does have to do with God? How that can be God teaching? God is not a pimp. God is holy. And those who they are holy, they follow the holy one. Flies go to the flowers or to the garbage. The answer is to the garbage. Bees goes to the flower and flies goes to the garbage. Oh, we have uh, Eliza calling. Maybe she decided to leave Islam? Let us see. Hello? Yes, Eliza, why are you calling? Because, you know, as you see, nobody. I thought you want to leave Islam. That's why I took your call. You don't want to leave Islam? You want someone to answer your question? I am, you are my question. So you are convinced my questions are good, right? Yeah, so you are asking the Muslims, stand up and asking, answering the question, because maybe you will leave Islam. What do you think? I, what I'm saying, why you want them to answer the question if this question is not, you know, hurting you, hurting you, like somehow you are hurt because this question is really, uh, I mean, uh, hurting the faith of Islam. Don't, it's going to help you to leave Islam or to stay as a Muslim. Okay, but can't you tell they will not answer it because well, that's why they are not calling. So obviously they knew I'm right. Otherwise, they will be calling like crazy, don't you see? Okay, I will wait just for you. All right, five minutes more. But Eliza, what if in five minutes no Muslim call? You will leave Islam? That means they are scared, and that means they cannot answer. And that means Islam is ugly. So if I wait for five minutes, just for your sake, just to help you, are you willing to leave Islam? So why I'm going to wait? Because they will not call anyway. Why you will not? Why you will not leave Islam? I mean, don't you see this is an ugly religion? What is that? It's not one question. We showed you many things. You did not answer. Or oh, what you say? Well, we allowed it. You know, I said to you, why are you breastfeeding? You said it's allowed. You say, okay. You said because men they can sit with you. How? How breastfeeding is making men able to sit with you. They can sit with you anyway, and they can even sleep with you. So what's the point of this breastfeeding? I know, but all of this is a garbage. I mean, nothing makes sense. Does it make sense? It's not nice at all. So if, if I am you, I will leave Islam. What I'm saying? Uh, the chat says there's no sound. Uh, this is my mistake. Sorry. So, guys, sorry, you could not hear the conversation from the beginning. So, she said she is calling and she is asking the Muslims to call. And uh, she is asking me to stay for more five minutes, correct, Eliza? I'm waiting for some of Muslims to okay. call him and so then, they can And then she's, his she is, uh, yeah. And then I ask her, uh, what about, okay, the. Uh, uh, she said the the question I asked, she have no answer, and she is hoping that Muslims would answer about women they have deficiency of the brain, correct? Yeah. Okay. And then you are saying what I'm saying is not nice. What is that? When you were saying something like rude what? to me. I'm, I'm not talking about you. I'm saying what to you? you? I don't know you. You are the one who said that muta is okay and breastfeeding is okay for you, correct? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but what is the point of the breastfeeding? Last time you said 
because this will allow the men to sit with you, correct? Yeah. Okay, but why men cannot sit with you without touching you anyway? I don't know. It's just a, it's just a rule in the religion. Okay, so a man he can. I am a Christian man. I can see a Christian woman. We can sit in a coffee shop and we can drink coffee. And I do not need to hold hand, her hand. And she do not need to give me her breast. So why you need to give your breast to a stranger? But it's more specific. It's what? It's more specific. Oh, it's more specific. This is what it says. Aisha, she because... ordered her nieces. To give her a breast to anyone want to see her because it's a regular regular occurrence what does that mean I'm, i don't understand explain to me when you meet them all the time and you're always going to sit with them what difference is going to make if i met a person once or twice why she have to give me her breast because you get more comfortable what if you ask for more who is the one who will get more but, comfortable now? You are saying to me that if you go to a coffee shop and there's like a hundred men, you are going to give your breast to all of them so they can get comfortable. I don't know. This is what you just said. Why those men, they will not get comfortable unless you, they, they, you, know, you suckle them from your breast. I don't really mind what you're asking me. I'm not asking you to do it. You know, you are saying things I'm not saying. I'm saying why? Why? You see the word why? I'm saying why you are going to feel comfortable if they suckle you. Why you will feel comfortable? What does that mean? Because you only do it once. That's why. No, you have to do it 10 different times in 10 different days. Yeah, but then it's over. Yeah, but uh, do you know how many men in this earth? So each time you want to go to a coffee shop, or in the bus or in the train, you have to suckle everybody there? No, it's the ones that you live with. No, this is not, you know, this is why Aisha, she don't live with them. Anyone want to come, she want to enter, they want to enter upon her. Anyone she will meet, they have to suckle her nieces and her sisters. I'm pretty sure that was a boy that was um, related. No, I can show you the reference. Here we go. I can find the reference. This is not related. It's about men uh, who they are ordered to suckle before they can. But I don't really mind anyway. I know you don't mind. This is what you said before. But you, Why you, don't you just move to the deficiency question? We are moving to the deficiency question. This is both is important. But Because when, I care about that one. Okay, so you care about what the different why why this one is more serious for you from the breast adult feeling? Because it's not very nice to and the, me. And the funny you are saying this is for kids when the hadith says it's a breast feeding for adult. No, I said adults. Adult, yeah. So they are not kids. I know. Okay, so what you say is not true. In the same time, you are saying to me. Uh, the hadith about you have deficiency in the brain and religion is more important. Don't you think that the one who said you have deficiency in your brain because you have menstruation, he himself have deficiency to say so? Well, that's why I want Muslim to explain it for me. Well, Muslim will not explain it because they are ashamed of it. But that's why I said wait for five minutes. Okay, but if I wait for five minutes, why and nobody call me? Obviously, they don't dare to answer. Why you don't leave they might, Islam? They might call you. Why you don't leave Islam if they don't call? What do you think? I'm giving you a nice opportunity to be free from this madness. Because it's just... Because I don't know the answer. So why would I leave? No problem. No, you will You know, you know, will leave because this is madness. Why, why you will go to hell? This is about you going to hell. You will go to hell because you have menstruation. This is a crazy... You have deficiency in the brain and in, in the religion. Both of them based on your, how Allah he made you, supposedly. So, deficiency mm -hmm. in, the, in the intelligence. Who is the one who made you? Allah, right? If nobody, no, if nobody um, answers, then I'm going to come back next time and answer. Okay, so you are saying you will... And if you don't have an answer, do you promise me to leave Islam? Mm, next, next time when I call you, with the answer.
you will call me with an answer. But what if you don't have an answer? That's why someone else might have an answer. So if nobody there to answer and you could not answer, are you going to leave us now? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, well, we pray for you. I'm not here to make fun of you. I feel sorry really for you. I believe that you, you know, you deserve help. And uh, this religion is obviously a religion of corruption. And you are just uh, saying what you've been told. So I feel sorry for you. But at the same time, I ask the Christian to pray for this woman that she will be out of this cult. She is saying what she learned, and what she learned is really ugly. Thank you, Eliza, for calling. You're welcome. Now we'll stay just five minutes, just for your sake, as you requested. And I challenge all the Muslim, as you see, your sister, she might leave Islam if you don't call. So all right, thank you, you so much. You're welcome. Take care. Five minutes. Now it is 6.17. <laughs> Any Muslim? Muslim boy saying, CP, God was a baby in need of a milk. Prove it. Your Quran says that Jesus, when he was a baby, he spoke as a prophet of Allah. So obviously, Jesus is not an, a baby you are talking about. When he was in the cradle, he spoke. And he said, I am the prophet of Allah. Your prophet took him 40 years and yet, he could not speak anything about Allah. Jesus is not even just, he's just born a second ago. <laughs> Let us see, maybe we have a Muhammad. <laughs> Five minutes. I'm trying to call a Mohammedan, you will see, if you will answer. No answer. Let's try again. He is not answering. It says he is not online. Do we have any Muslim who would like to answer the questions which your sister, she is asking for help? Anyone? Any Mohammedan? Let us see this guy. <laughs> Hello? Go ahead, you are, you are live on air, my friend. What do you like to say to us? Yeah, I just had a question. Is this CP? Yes, did you hear your sister? She was talking and she was hoping a Muslim would answer the question about women have deficiency in their brain, in their religion and wisdom. Uh, so I had a question from CP, if that's okay. You have a question from CP, so you will not answer the question. Your sister, she said she might leave Islam if no Muslim answer. Uh, I think uh, it's a trick you do always. You just uh, bring fake uh, Muslims and you try to prove to your okay, let us say Christian just, followers let, that let us say, uh, let us you say, know, okay, that Let us want, say for uh, the sake of argument, this is a fake Muslim. Are you able no, to I'm answer? No, I'm not saying she's fake. I'm not saying she's fake. You okay. always go for the weak people that she clearly said she don't okay, have aren't the knowledge. Okay, aren't you strong? She's weak. Uh, I had, I, like I told you, I have a question. Why are you so scared? Let so me are you, ask are you scared question. to answer what she's asking for help for? Here we go. Your sister, she is asking for help. And you are saying, I am targeting the weak. Are you weak? 
you always do that you don't let are people you, talk are you weak? no weak. I, I want you to answer the question are you weak why don't you why don't you debate people that she clearly said she don't have knowledge it's only okay. fair do you have a knowledge, have knowledge don't she... you have a knowledge yourself you are a muslim man don't you have a knowledge but you are I, the man when i called you wait when i called you did, didn't i say i have a question can i so you have so is that is that is that is that how you prove your knowledge is that how you prove your knowledge by asking question but not by answering what? Why are you talking about knowledge when I'm asking? I have a question. Because we have a topic. We are talking about it for the last four because hours. This, I have one question. I have no Christian has been what? able to answer. No problem. Me I, will an I promise I will answer you after you answer. Okay. Why now, women? No, I called you because I have a question. You cannot do dictate. See, this is what you do. I can always. dictate. I, I can dictate. This is my program. It's not up to you. No, it's not up to you. Yeah, but your sister, okay, so she is. Okay, okay, good, good. So basically, your what sister, you're is that your sister she you. is going to leave Islam question, if you yeah? don't answer. Why you don't answer? You claim that she have no knowledge are you better if i go and take if i go and target we christians i can do exactly the same thing is not okay. something you target me here we yeah. go target me and i will target okay. you let us see so, is, so okay. now okay. i'm asking so you okay so is I, jesus I, I, god I, I will, jesus god who's jesus i will be i will, be, I will, be, I will be fair with you you ask me a question okay. i ask who's you a jesus? question is that fair question okay. question from me yes, question sir. from you do you accept yeah of course this is fair okay. yeah okay course. okay so here we go we have the muslim lady before you she call answer the question about okay, women please. they have deficiency because of the administration and because who is they have jesus? Brain. who is jesus you see this is I the answer and i will answer your question one question from me no, one no, question no, no, from no. you I, I called you no i called you because you this is you never answer a question from a muslim always you attack you be, you do it very okay. unfair do you, do, you, do, you talk. do you promise me if i answer you you will you will uh, uh, you will answer if my you question prove about to me god if you prove to me God uh, that Jesus is God from Bible, from Bible, see, it's only fair. Then okay. What, if, why? If you, okay, why are you from okay. the? Why not from the Quran? Idiot! I'm asking from the Bible. It's only fair because. So are you it, it, are you ashamed of the Quran? I can prove it to you from the Quran. I'm asking you a simple question. See, you dodge always tactic. Why well, tactic? Uh, Just answer me straight. Oh, okay, so if I if I show you in the Bible, do okay, you agree? From Bible, do you, yes, do you agree? Yes, do you agree with yeah, the Bible? Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Sure, sure, sure. Yes. Okay. Do you okay, agree, do you okay. agree okay. with the Bible show or not? Me, do you agree me, with yeah, the Bible show, or not? Show me. Show me. Do you show agree me. Don't dodge. Do you agree don't with the tactic. Bible? Don't play your tactic. Okay. Abdul. Wait, wait. wait. Did, did Jesus do, say he's God? Do you agree with the Bible? Yes. If I show you that Jesus, if I show you that Jesus says I am God, what you will do in front of everybody? I told you if you prove to me, if you prove it, you, you know, you're not answering me. First, prove. Okay, how, can how, let me ask you how okay. I'm going to prove Where it to is, you. See, but let's, let's, how let's, I'm going to let, let, let us make it clear. Hold on. In front of how everyone, I can prove it to you. Is that by watching, showing you? you how I can question. let is me Jesus know. God? Okay, no. is Jesus God? I'm asking you now. How I can prove it to you? Is it by showing you that Jesus says I am God, or by showing you Jesus saying I am not God? Your English is very shit. I'm asking you a simple question. Where did Jesus say? My friend, my Bible. friend, I do not proof, know. Proof, proof, I do proof, not proof. know how to write, how to read. I am illiterate like your prophet. Listen, you, they see you insult, insult. So I'm just asking you I'm not question, insulting. Insult. It's you who called me. Call I did not call you sister, any names yet. I, sister, you are the, the one who sister. says, you are the one who called me idiot. The you weak, are the one who the used the word shit. Sister that just Hold on. She can hear you are the one who ran away from answering. And now, and now, okay, so you see, you are, who is the one insulting? Did I call you shit? Wait, when when I call you, when I called you, didn't I say a simple question? Did you answer me? See, you always tactic. Why don't you just you are, ask me you questions? You're a coward. Simple I'm asking question. you, explain the question for coward. me. When you say to me, prove to okay, me that listen. Jesus is God. Is okay, that by showing you? you wanna, Hold on, potato, you hold, potato, you, potato, you, potatoes. You, potato, if potato, I show you, potato. If I show you now a verse from the Bible, Jesus saying, I am God, are you going to accept it? If I show you, if I show you, if I show you Jesus saying, I am the living God, are you going to accept Are you it? fair? Are you fair? Are you fair? Just first, first, fair are you who? fair? As a person, fair with who? As, a, as a Christian, does Jesus tell you that you, you should be fair? If I have a question as a Muslim, can you just answer me? Jesus told me fair, not, fair, Jesus fair. Told, Jesus taught me fair. not to, are you fair? No, not see, tolerate, see, exactly. not okay. to tolerate liars see, 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 see. and deceivers. Oh, it's a question. Okay. This is a question. Let us see who is the potato. So now I'm going to keep my promise. I will answer your question. I want you to read for me <laughs> okay, in the screen. Okay, okay. Abdeto, potato, Abdeto, Abdeto, let's go, let's go. This okay. is John. Answer, this is John. Me. This is John. Chapter eight says, Jesus said, "I am the living God." The mic is yours. Okay. Okay, mic is mine. Okay, Mick, very good. Okay, so Jesus said about the hour. I don't know. I don't know. Jesus Abdeto, said, "I am the said, living God." Do you see it? 
but when he said, okay, how this contradiction, like ah, you say, uh, this there's is a contradiction. contradiction, there's a contradiction. Is, okay, okay, tell me about that contradiction. Uh, okay, me. very good. Hmm. So, okay, update or listen. Uh -huh. So, if uh, uh, God does he know the future? That's a good question. Do your God know the future? Does your God know the future? Yes, he knew because the same future. chapter you are going to quote for me, Jesus said, this is will happen, and this is will happen, and this is will happen, and then I will come. So now we prove that Jesus knew the future. Do your God know the future? Do, your, said, do said, your God. Listen. Okay, okay. Uh, 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 do your God know the future? I am asking you. <laughs> do your God know the future? This uh, sister can can see this. The sister can You're, see this. Abdeto, uh, everybody, everybody is question. seeing how stupid you are and how trying to run to run away. Here we go. One, one, Jesus, one, he knew the future. Even the Quran, question. even the Quran Christian, says. Please, you have books. Even the Quran, you know, I know even you, the I Quran know you. says that from Jesus he I know knew you from the future. Talk, Abdul, Kashmar, I knew you from is it true? Talk. Is it true that your God Allah said in the Quran that Jesus he knew the future? Okay, 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 okay. The sister okay, can okay, hear me. Okay, okay, okay. I'm asking you. This is what you do. Is it you're true? Not fair. You see, you are, you're not you are going you're against not Allah. Is it you're true? Not fair. A potato. Is it you're true? Not fair. A potato. Just, uh, see? Just potato. Kid. Little potato. Your God said that Jesus he knew the future. Your God. Are you against your God? When a Muslim, he says, I don't want you to show me from the Quran because the Quran is an embarrassment for their challenge. When I show them from my Bible, they will say we don't accept it anyway. <laughs> this is your stupid God saying that Jesus, he can tell you the future. And the same book says, who knows the future save Allah? Who knows the future, save Allah. Then we find, let me open the Quran. In chapter six, verse number 50, the Quran says that Muhammad said that I do not know the treasure of Allah. I do not know the future. I know nothing about the hiding. This is Muhammad. What about Jesus? Jesus, he told them, I can tell you what you even eat. I can tell you what you are even hiding in your houses. Potato, and this is why they don't want their Quran. Embarrassment. Muhammad, he do not know. Be my witness. The verse in the front of you. Muhammad, he do not know. Why? If Muhammad is a messenger. And Jesus is a messenger. If Muhammad was sent by Allah, and Jesus was sent by Allah. So how one who sent by Allah, he knew the hiding and the hidden, but the other one who is sent by Allah, he have no idea. Huh? If you want to say to me, this is by the permission of Allah, that is even make it more horrible. Your prophet, you don't have a permission. My Jesus have a permission. Chapter three, verse number 49 in the Quran. It says that Jesus saying, I can tell you, I can inform you what you eat, what you store in your houses. Surely this is a sign for you if you believe. Now, when we ask the Abdul, do your God Allah know the future? The answer, for sure, no. And this is an example.
Allah, he told the Muslims, if 100 of you would patient, come fight 1,000. The Muhammadan, they won to war and they lost. One hundred can win against one thousand. Ten of you can win against one hundred, which means the ratio is one to ten. The Muhammadan they went to war and they lost. Muhammad in the same story he claimed that he saw that the number of the disbelievers even going to be this in different story actually he says the number of the disbelievers was going to be way little when they went to war we can show you that reference too but here imagine the God who promised that one of you can fight against ten and he have the same conditions urge the believers to fight if there is a 20 of you with patient they will overcome 200 if there is be a hundred of you will overcome a thousand of the unbelievers right away he made a verse says now now allah he lightened your task knowing that there is a weakness on you before you do not know and the Arabic is so clear it says and he found out that you have a weakness is that a God who know the future you do not know that they have weakness and look what happened he promised them that one can fight against ten ten can fight against one hundred Look how he changed the number. If there is a hundred of you patient men, they will overcome two hundred. Can you believe it? From one to ten to one to two. Do you see the stupid Muhammad? Here, if a 20 of you can fight 200, which means every 10 can fight 100, 1 to 10. Now Allah, he found that he is a potato. And now he found that he have, they have a weakness. So he decided to fix his numbers. And for sure, we can show you tons of verses proving that Allah do not know either the future or the past. As an example, how the baby is made. As an example, the sun set in a murky water. As an example, even about the judgment day. So when we say to the Muslims, what if I show you that Jesus is God from your Quran? He don't want it. Okay, if I show you from the Bible, you accept, he don't want it. Do you see the hypocrisy of this religion? If we can call it a religion? And you are attacking weak people. Are you a strong one? He's not. He don't dare to answer the question. His sister, she is almost leaving Islam, and yet he don't care. Claiming that I am attacking the weak. And the second we start answering him, he starts shouting, screaming, making fun, calling names. What a potato.